Well, we are here with the amazing yeah. Betty White in Vancouver for the Comedy Fest at the Center for the Performing Arts. And Randine and I are so lucky to be able to spend time with her tonight. We're so happy. Thank you so much. What do you think of Vancouver? Oh, I've lo always loved Vancouver. Came here when I, years and years ago. I haven't been here in a while. But it is so gorgeous and so... There's an atmosphere about it that I love. I love the spirit of Canadian people. Everybody is so nice. And so, and my, my driver at home in Los Angeles, he said, you know how you get 17 Canadians in the pool? I say, please. <laughs> <laughs> very, very true. Don't ask very, us because we'll probably true. do it. Very yeah. true. Betty, I know that you know, some people have said it's a comeback and it's obviously not a comeback, but you're so busy and doing two shows here in Vancouver in one night. How do you keep going? How do you keep up the energy for all of this? I'm so lucky. I love what I do. And it's fun, and it's uh, I'm with delightful people. And so everybody says, "Are you thinking of retiring?" I, translated, that means, "Are you ever going to get out of our face?" <laughs> and I'm afraid the answer is no. I just love what I do. Yeah. We want to ask your opinion. Sophie and I both work at a news station. We both work with male co-hosts who think they're funnier than we are. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Has that ever happened to you? How do you deal with that? Oh, you just let them think that. <laughs> <laughs> and then you, you just, uh, you have your own fun, and pretty soon the audience makes the judgment. They figure it out, right? Uh huh. Well, you've had so much experience working with such great casts, ensemble casts. Oh. Hot in Cleveland, the latest one, and of course, Golden Girls and Mary Tyler Moore. I mean, you've worked with such wonderful people. But how at this point in time can you get lucky enough to find another group that you adore? Mm -hmm. They are. Well, we all adore each other. They are just, it's, it's really phenomenal. Only in this business, I think, can you do that. What, how do you think you, you, first Mary Tyler Moore, a wonderful cast, then Golden Girls, an amazing female cast, and now Hot and Cleveland, another amazing female yeah. cast. It can't just be luck. It has to be you. Do you oh, no, <laughs> it's not me. It's, but it's just, uh, the same thing holds true that held true for the Golden Girls. These are consummate professionals. I mean, they take their business seriously and then have fun with it. But they, they don't abuse the privilege. They come in prepared and they respect their profession. Then they can relax and have all the fun in the world. What's the favorite thing about what you do now in the business, professionally, while you're still working? Oh, just having, hearing people laugh. That's the best thing that can happen. Is that always been a good feeling like that? Yes. That's the payoff. That started around the breakfast table with my mother and dad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there wasn't a straight man in the house. Well, I mean that in a nice way. But, <laughs> <laughs> but we, uh, we had a, a lot of fun together. And we would laugh and giggle and scratch. And it just, <laughs> I, uh, I'd rather laugh. Th it beats yeah. the alternative. Yeah. So were you, you were always funny as a kid? Were you like a class clown? No, I wasn't funny, but, but everybody, you know, we'd be, if you enjoy laughing, pretty soon everybody's trying to make you laugh and it makes them happy. And, and it's I, contagious, right? It yeah. is terribly contagious. That's a problem on Hot in Cleveland. Oh, yeah? Well, yeah, we have to talk to each other like this. We can't ever look into each <laughs> other's eyes or we're really? gone. Really? While well, you're Fer shooting. Craig Ferguson, the same thing. Craig and I always talk to each other. We never make eye contact. Was it Craig Ferguson where you pretended you were McCain's speechwriter? You were talking oh, about the yes, carrier yes. pigeons oh, and Sarah and I, Palin? And I've been oh, a tax collector and I've been a Girl Scout leader and I've been a, 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 a various things I've been on. I never know what he's going to want me to be. So of your of your co-stars in Hot in Cleveland and Golden Girls and the, all the other shows, um, who were the ones who would try to crack you up the most or who were the most mischievous, I guess? Well, Rue McClanahan was a, she was bad. She was real <laughs> bad. That means she was good, right? Oh, that means she was wonderful. <laughs> and uh, and it, it, Val, well, all three of these girls, I mean, Wendy and Valerie and, and Jane, uh, there's, you're not safe with any of them. And I must admit, they're not safe with me. Yeah. <laughs> can, as we go, because we have to go, can we sing a little Golden Girls? Thank you for being a friend. Yeah, would you? Yes. Okay, uh, ready? Thank oh, you. We have for, to sing? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for being a friend. Traveling down this road and back again. Your heart uh, is true. 
You're a pal and a confidant. Do, do, do. And, and if you threw a party and invited everyone you knew, you would see the biggest gift would be from me. And the card attached would say, thank you for being a friend. I love it. Thank oh, you, girl. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> best thing I've ever done. I know! <laughs> I <get goosebumps. laughs> Thank you. Warbeth Marin White Laden was an American actress and comedian, a pioneer of our television with a career spanning eight decades. White was noted for her vast work in the entertainment industry. Thank you so much for watching, please. See you in the next video.